Arctic's weather forecast. Hey there, good morning to you. A warm start for us here in the coastal Glen with upper 70s for inland locations and lower 80s here along the coast. Feels like temperatures also very, very warm this morning, but our spread of the 90s not quite as wide for coastal communities. 95 is what it feels like for you in Port A with a temperature of 83 degrees. 92 at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi with a temperature of 82 degrees and that improves as you head inland. So it's foreshadowing what's to come this afternoon. But that's actually a positive thing. Not as hot this afternoon. It's going to it's going to be hot, but it won't feel quite as oppressively hot as we head outside to do whatever we got to do today. So with that in mind, that's one of the first changes in the forecast. And I think our dog walking star today is a little bit suspicious of some of these changes. This is Gizmo after a fresh haircut, likes to hang out there on the windowsill, but I don't know, something about that face tells me he just doesn't believe me, but that's okay. I too was becoming uh, less hopeful that rain would ever fall again in the coastal bend, but we do have some in the forecast. Not everyone will see it today though, so we've got to talk about when and where in just a few minutes. But for Gizmo's walk today, it's going to be sunny and dry. Temperatures take a little bit longer to get to the 90s today and not much of a breeze, but a little bit of movement in the air could be helpful as we go through the next couple of hours. Now, those heat alerts, once again, not quite as severe for today. Heat advisories blanket the coastal bend. That means we'll feel as hot as 110 to 114 for a period of two hours or longer. And these alerts begin at noon, going until eight o'clock tonight. So it's still going to be hot. We're just taking things down a notch. We'll uh, top out what feels like temperatures quickly brushing to around 115. But again, the bulk of that heat will feel about 110 to 114 for us today. Not much relief during the overnight though. That story doesn't change. Still feeling like the upper 80s to 90s as we head past the midnight hour into the early morning hours on your Wednesday. But as far as the rain goes, that's where things become interesting. So you see this cold front behind me on the map. Don't get excited. Yes, a cold front is moving through Texas. It's a weak one and it'll be fizzling it out as it heads our way. But that is what could trigger a few showers for us later today. So I don't think any one model really captures this very well, but I'll show you the one that uh, I think does the best job of that today. So with the heat of today cooking up, I think by the afternoon we could start seeing a sea breeze developing along the coast and push inland. That could pop off a few showers here and there, nothing major, but a little bit of rain here and there across the coastal bend. And then by this evening, that frontal boundary will likely trigger some showers in the Victoria Crossroads. These could hold together and move through our northern communities before they fall apart. And then tomorrow, we could also see some showers uh, begin to start from the heat of the day as well. So something we're keeping our eyes on. Don't be discouraged if you don't see the rain as we go through today or tomorrow. Again, these are just stray showers. Looks like we'll have a better chance as we go on into the end of the weekend and the beginning of next week. And throughout that time, we're still going to have temperatures in the triple digits. Thank <laughs> you.